Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I make videos on Japanese foods and culture. In this video, I wanted to show you what's inside this box. It's a brand new pressure cooker that I got for my birthday from my parents. My birthday was actually back in November, but I couldn't really decide on what I wanted, so it's taken a while, but it's here finally, and I want to show you what's inside. I've actually already opened it slightly so that I can get this recipe book. It's to make sure that I can buy some ingredients、uh, for me to make some delicious food today. The recipe I decided to make is this. Mackerel stewed in miso sauce. Yeah, after I unbox this, I'm gonna show you how to make it. There's the cord. There's some measuring cup. I think it's for the rice because with this thing you can also cook rice.、Um, and then, ooh, it's massive. Okay, that's pretty heavy. Is that it? Okay. Here it is. How do I open this? Oh, oh, <laughs> clever. Okay, so it's got like a metal on the inside, and I believe. That's for steaming, like veggies and meat and stuff. And then there's the inside. It looks like what's inside the rice cooker. And then here, you can choose from a lot of menus. Like, for example, this one's just white rice, curry, stews, and so on. Pressure cooking. Oh, you can make some hot pot in this as well. Because this thing is mainly a pressure cooker, I'm gonna be using the pressure cooking method today. Now, the pot inside has been washed, so I'm gonna be putting some ingredients in. So, the recipe says you need some mackerels, 960 grams of mackerel. The one I have, it doesn't say, but I think that's enough, right? <laughs> Water, miso, Japanese rice wine for cooking. Sugar, soy sauce, and some ginger juice.、Mm, okay, so I'm gonna roughly be following what's written on here. First of all, apparently, you need to pour some hot water on the mackerel for you to like get rid of the fishiness. So I'm gonna do that first.、You、need to boil some water. Whilst I wait for the water to boil, I'm just gonna measure out the seasonings and put them in the pot. First of all, I need 100 ml of water. I'm gonna do sugar first because that's dry. Six tablespoons of sugar, that's quite a lot. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, this measuring cup that I'm using is actually quite clever. I got it from like a 100 yen store. If you fill it up to this point, that's One tablespoon, but if you fill it up to this point,、um, that's one teaspoon. So you just need this to measure out a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Clever, right? Okay, and then I need six tablespoons of miso. Oh no, it doesn't fit in the jar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to use another spoon. I'm just gonna use this teaspoon. One. Two, three, four, five, six. I've never used this much miso in my whole entire life. Japanese cooking sake. Oops. We need four tablespoons of that. So that's one, two, three, four. Followed by some soy sauce. Oh, just one tablespoon of soy sauce. That's good because I don't have much soy sauce left.、Ah, come on. Okay. 
and it says some ginger sauce but i don't have that so i'm just gonna use this grated ginger in a tube i've actually only seen this in japan in japan we have those like grated raw seasonings in tubes like this so this one is ginger and we also have garlic there's also like japanese mustard and everything so it's quite convenient how much do i need so two teaspoons of ginger sauce i don't know maybe like that much of grated ginger maybe i'll see ah okay. it doesn't say but i think i should probably mix the sauce well oh the water has boiled no okay i've never done this so it's a bit scary but we'll see i hope the container doesn't break Ooh. Fishy. Okay. All right. So I've got some sauce that I mixed. Oh, let me taste test this. Mmm. Oh my god. I feel like a pro. This sauce tastes really, really nice. I think it would also go well with things like chicken or other fish, like white fish even salmon that would go well it's really nice and okay i've got some mackerel that i drained in hot water so i'm just gonna combine them together well that's what it says in the recipe <laughs> okay that's what it looks like it looks really nice already so um yeah according to the recipe book all i need to do is set this inside the pressure cooker um put the lid on i don't know how there's a way to put the lid on okay did not get that but okay okay and then i'm gonna lock this i think i need the power so i'm gonna unravel those dna's Sorry. They look like DNA double helix, no? Don't you think? Look! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna plug this in. Yep. yep. Oh, hello! And then, can you see? <laughs> Probably can't, right? Oh, let me wipe off the mackerel juice. It's gonna smell fishy. Okay, so... Ugh. Actually, let me bring the camera over here. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to set it to pressure cook. Set it to 10 minutes, I believe this is. And then this top bit. So apparently this means to ventilate and this means to like keep it closed. Um, so I believe I need to keep it here. I press. Oh, you're going to see my messy room. And then I press start. I think that's it. Let's hope for the best. Yes. I'm a bit scared. I hope this thing doesn't explode. All right, pressure cooking has been done. So I want to open this up to see the result. when it was cooking but oh the smell is next level okay let me taste test it the mackerel is 
very very soft oh my god whoa <laughs> i'm so excited to eat this and the fact that it was really really easy to make so i as you saw i literally just mixed in this sauce and cut up the mackerel and just like put them together and literally it's like press a few buttons and it's like done wow Okay, let me try this. Oh, oh my god, the meat is so soft. Look at that. Mmm. 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 The flavor of the miso sauce is like literally inside the meat of the fish and it's really really nice when i grill fish on the hob i normally end up burning them or they end up being really dry and everything but this thing it's literally it took me 55 minutes to cook the whole thing and it turned out to be really really nice so i guess i will be using the pressure cooker a lot um from now on so this is a japanese brand but i believe you can also get like the instant pots um, elsewhere in the world so yeah if you don't have one and you like cooking or you want to like reduce the time of you cooking then yeah this pressure cooker is really definitely a great choice I think um, so yeah hopefully I'll be making some more recipes using this thing in terms of the ingredients um, in case you want to replicate this in your country um, I think with miso you definitely need that for this recipe because that's the key but you can definitely get it like at a Japanese supermarket or maybe like an Asian supermarket so just get like a regular miso and soy sauce you can probably just buy it at some sort of supermarket um, but in terms of Japanese sake the alcohol you can definitely swap it with some white wine and it doesn't make that much difference and ginger I'm sure you can get it in your country so yeah I think um, this recipe is quite easy to replicate. I really hope you try it as well. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up because it really, really supports my channel. And also subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye!